Do you own a mirrorless camera or a DSLR and you want to get into photography? You're wondering what is the very first thing that you should learn? Well, it's the dial MASP. Let's talk about it. Check this out. What the letter A stands for. It stands for aperture. It's really about how much light to bring into the sensor to get your photo. And when I turn my aperture ring, you can see how big the aperture ring opens and closes. You're using a dial to open and close your lens. The main control of the aperture is just how much blurriness, the bokeh, you want in the background. If you actually want the viewer to see what the background really is, you could bring it, the aperture down to a 10. So the next mode that we should talk about is S for shutter. If you open up the shutter for about a second, then of course a lot of light will come in. But if you uh, open that shutter to close and open and close real quick, then just a very small enough light comes in. Have your camera at like two thousandths of a second and it'll catch that water right in midair. You leave the shutter open for about a second and everybody else in the background is moving around, then everyone is blurry while the person in the middle is of course frozen since they were still during that one second shot. P is for program auto and that's, so there's fully auto with a green icon, right? Takes amazing photos, you don't have to think twice about anything, but maybe you want to still have that automatic mode, but still be able to control some things. Program auto will allow you to change a combination of which aperture you want and then what shutter it's gonna be. And it will also give you an ability to control your ISO, control your exposure, uh, white balance, your flash power, M for manual. That is the best part of your camera. Your camera is made for the manual mode. So the first thing you wanna think about in manual mode is ISO. What ISO are you in? Always have a habit of keeping your camera's ISO as low as possible. 100, 200, you know, average, uh, because the lower the ISO, the more clear your photos look. Higher the ISO, you're gonna start to see grains. Now you get to control what kind of aperture that you want. Do you want the background to be blurry? Now the third thing to think about is the shutter. How long are you gonna keep that shutter open so that your light is properly exposed. If you watched all the way, I thank you so much. Get some free training videos and, and cool informations and things like that. Hook me up with your email address at cameratofreedom.com and I will send you some cool stuff. And until uh, then, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Just like what he said. Bye.